Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to solve a problem that you're likely to run into if you bring in clips from different media sources or if you're doing an interview where you use different microphones. And that problem has to do with volume levels. And you can see right here in this clip that I have a relatively high volume level here. This is my audio track. But the volume drops right here. And what I really want to do is I want the volume through here to be as loud as it is here. And the easy way to do that is to use a volume envelope. And to add a volume envelope, you go over to your audio track control, whatever track you want to add this volume envelope to, put your mouse in there and right click and select insert remove envelope and then select volume. And that puts a purple line through your audio track. What this purple line is, is the volume envelope. And you can move the entire line up to raise the volume of the entire track or pull it down to lower the volume of the entire track. But if you just want to control one little area, what you do is you put a starting point and then another starting point of where you want to start the effect and then an end point and another end point where you want to end the effect and then you can adjust just that one little area. So if I wanted to raise that I could just raise that area right there and that would raise the volume through that track. But let's suppose that right here I said something that I didn't really want to appear on the video. I could put me another couple starting points and ending points there and drag the volume so that it's gone there. So using the volume envelope, I raised the volume right there. I've dropped the volume completely away there, brought the volume back down to normal here. And if I want to raise it back up, I can do that to raise it back up. Now the reason that you have to put two dots on your volume envelope is that the volume envelope works like a rubber band. So if I only put two there, it's going to raise everything around that. But if I put a double at the starting and a double at the ending, it raises just that one little area there. So that's how you do that. And you can have absolute control over that. Now typically on my video, I'll go through and I'll adjust words in and out. And if there's background noises that I want to remove, I'll drop them out by using the volume envelope like that. And I'll go through the entire video. And fortunately, I only have to raise volumes when I have, say, a new clip coming in or where I'm doing an interview and someone's microphone is turned down too low. But it's really easy to do using the volume envelope. Now there are other ways to adjust the volume. You can use the normalize feature, the track normalize feature, which will adjust the audio throughout the entire track to a flat level. And I typically don't use that because it doesn't produce the results that I want. So I use the volume envelope. And if you were to look at one of my longer videos, an hour long video on the track, you'd see that I always have a volume envelope in there. And when I preview the video, I'm listening to see where areas where I can adjust or sweeten the volume using the volume envelope. Anyway, really easy to do. Again, you just move your mouse over to the control of the audio track. You right click, select insert, remove envelope. You select volume envelope. And it'll put this little purple line here that you can adjust the volume throughout the track. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips. Find more like this at www.bmyers.com.